white babies. It's that time again. Oh yeah. some good responses from people. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> anytime <clears throat> anytime somebody calls you a demon, you know you're doing the right thing in the name of Jesus. Because <laughs> that's what he did. He caused people to lose their minds brought attention to the fact that there were Bible worshipers. <laughs> you Pharisees, you Sadducees, you think you know the Word of God because you study it. Well, guess what? I would never ordain genocide before the nation of Israel would inherit the promised land. So there's some problems in your Bible. And I'm here to fix them. My name is Jesus. Oh yeah, baby. That's who he was. That's what he did. Everything he did was love and teaching and wisdom. Oh yeah. How many times did you hear him say, you've heard it said, but I tell you, <laughs> there's a whole, <clears throat> there's a whole new sheriff in town. Oh yeah, baby. So, get with the spirit of God. Get in touch with your heart. Submit your heart to God and watch how He changes you so that you no longer do the stupid things you currently do <laughs> or used to do. Oh, yeah, baby. You don't have to go to any special. Uh, behavioral treatment centers the spirit of God will just burn out the nonsense honey and one day you'll look at yourself in the mirror and you'll say huh I don't do that anymore do I no you don't I had this great experience yesterday um, thought of someone, <clears throat> a media figure, a titan in media, who I think passed about 10 years ago, and I just hadn't thought about him for a while, so just seeing something, it just struck me, you know, how dear he is to me and how profound his impact on society was <clears throat> and I just burst out in tears I was just sobbing was like, just out of thankfulness that someone would stand out from the crowd and just be resolute in their convictions, no matter the criticism. And I just was so touched by that. It just overwhelmed me. I just, I was just sobbing. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because that's, that's evidence that God has changed my heart, that he's sharing his heart with me. So the two of us are becoming more and more one. And 
it's just a fascinating thing to behold and it just underscores what I've been teaching which is our relationship with God through Jesus is the essential process in all of our lives oh yeah baby Absolutely. And so anything that's getting in the way of that, you have to address, submit it to him, let him correct it. Because otherwise you'll just be trying in some kind of superficial way of changing what you just, you can't change. No! So God is good, God is lovely, God is beautiful, God is forever the same. That's why we know certain things in the Bible just are not true. Because they don't align with what love is. So you might say, well, you have a different opinion of what love is than I do. Well, <clears throat> the Spirit of God isn't confused on the matter. The only thing that confuses us in our belief systems is when we're not aligned with the Spirit and we've got too much going on in our head. For instance, you know, I mean, there's so many examples in the Bible. It's really silly to even argue it, but so many of you out there just haven't even tried because you just assume all of it is the Word of God when the Word of God is forever true, absolutely, and God will never change, absolutely. But what we know him to be is loving, kind, merciful, creative, supportive, wise, compassionate. Yeah. So anything you find in the Bible that is not that, it's either part of a story that's supposed to teach you what not to do, or it's an example of what happens when <laughs> scribes over the years get out of control and uh, try to create a big, bad, meaner God than other people's gods so that they can say, our God is the only God and our God is going to beat up your God. You just watch. And that's why you have these fake stories of the exodus and the plagues <laughs> and the killing of the firstborn. Yeah. Can you see Jesus doing that? No. Guess what? Story time. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. That's why Jesus said you can just reduce the whole Bible down into loving God with all your heart and loving others as much as you love yourself, baby. Oh, yeah. Jesus walked in complete illumination all the time. <laughs> and he invites us to do the same, which is just a trip. I'm loving it. Even when I have all kinds of circumstances around me that are going haywire. I have the inner peace of the Lord. He motivates me. He teaches me. He comforts me. He helps me to deal with the stupid criticism that I get online. <laughs> Why do you wear what you do? You should change your clothes. Okay, we can see where your head's at. <laughs> In the name of Jesus... Take your concerns to the Lord and see what he does with them. <laughs>